first watch this video. Now let's talk about this. In the whirlwind of social media's ever-scrolling feed, a particular video took center stage this week, capturing a moment that ignited a storm of opinions and reflections. Picture this, a woman, propelled by spontaneity or perhaps a thirst for the limelight, joins Omar Lay on stage during his recent London performance. The crowd erupts into a mixture of cheers and gasps as her boyfriend, a silent figure in the audience, grapples with emotions that range from disbelief to outright dismay. The scene, immortalized on digital platforms, became more than just a fleeting moment of entertainment. It evolved into a battleground of ideals and perceptions. Some viewers hailed the woman's actions as a celebration of individual freedom and expression, while others condemned it as a breach of trust and respect within a committed relationship. What unfolded was not merely a spectacle, but a reflection of the complexities and tensions inherent in modern romantic dynamics. Let's unpack the layers of this incident, shall we? At its core lies a fundamental question. Where do we draw the line between personal autonomy and relational fidelity in an age where boundaries are increasingly fluid and public scrutiny is relentless? The woman's decision to take the stage raises profound inquiries about agency, desire, and the allure of fleeting moments of fame in a society driven by likes, shares, and viral sensations. Equally significant is the reaction of her partner, whose silent but palpable discomfort speaks volumes about the insecurities and vulnerabilities that lurk beneath the surface of seemingly stable relationships. His silent presence in the audience forces us to confront uncomfortable truths about trust, communication, and the fragility of intimacy in an era defined by constant connectivity and digital voyeurism. But let's not stop there. Beyond the individuals involved, this incident serves as a microcosm of broader cultural trends and societal norms. It underscores the complexities of navigating love and desire in a landscape where social media has reshaped the contours of human interaction and redefined the boundaries of public and private life. What emerges is a nuanced portrait of the tension between tradition and modernity, convention and rebellion, as individuals grapple with the competing demands of personal fulfillment and relational responsibility. And yet, amidst the chaos and controversy, there are glimpses of unexpected humor and solidarity. Enter Kai Senat, a digital creator who turns the tables on the situation by organizing an e-dating show for the stressed boyfriend. His irreverent gesture underscores the power of community and camaraderie in the face of life's absurdities, offering a moment of levity in an otherwise tense and tumultuous narrative. As the dust settles and the digital fervor subsides, what remains 
are the lingering questions and echoes of a moment that transcended the confines of a concert stage. It is a reminder that behind every viral sensation lies a human story, replete with complexities, contradictions, and the universal quest for connection and understanding. Perhaps the true lesson lies not in the spectacle itself, but in the conversations and reflections it inspires. It is a call to action, urging us to confront our own assumptions and biases, to communicate openly and honestly with our partners, and to navigate the ever-evolving landscape of modern love with empathy, humility, and above all, self-respect. For in the digital age and beyond, the most enduring relationships are built not on fleeting moments of fame, but on a foundation of trust, mutual respect, and unwavering authenticity. The incident involving the woman dancing on stage with Omar Lay serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities inherent in modern relationships. While it may be tempting to view such occurrences through a lens of condemnation or moral judgment, it is crucial to approach them with empathy, understanding, and a commitment to self-respect. First and foremost, it is essential to recognize that individuals are multifaceted beings, shaped by a myriad of factors including upbringing, societal influences, and personal experiences. While certain actions may seem unfathomable or even reprehensible from an outside perspective, they are often rooted in deeper emotional needs, insecurities, or desires for validation. It is important to acknowledge the role of personal agency and autonomy in human relationships. While fidelity and trust are undeniably crucial components of healthy partnerships, it is equally vital to respect individuals' rights to make their own choices and decisions, even if they may not align with societal norms or expectations. However, this acknowledgement of personal agency does not absolve individuals of their responsibility to communicate openly and honestly with their partners. Trust is a cornerstone of any relationship, and betraying that trust through deceitful or hurtful actions can have profound consequences for both parties involved. For those who have experienced betrayal or infidelity in their relationships, it is essential to prioritize self-respect and emotional well-being. This may involve setting boundaries, seeking support from trusted friends or professionals, and taking the necessary steps to heal and move forward, whether that means reconciliation or parting ways. Ultimately, navigating the complexities of modern relationships requires a commitment to empathy, communication, and mutual respect. By approaching difficult situations with compassion and understanding, we can foster healthier, more authentic connections built on trust, honesty, and integrity. And for those who find themselves tempted to betray their partner's trust, it is worth considering the lasting impact of such actions on both oneself and those we hold dear. In the end, true fulfillment and happiness are found not in fleeting moments of excitement or attention, but in the deep, meaningful connections forged through honesty, vulnerability, and genuine love. And that concludes today's discussion on MegTow Voice. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on future videos. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next video.